Mozart and this before him, Debussy was fond of birds. Here is a piece filled with birds. It is a page d'Alban, that's its title, written in the First World War, June 1915, and dedicated to his wife, Emma, for her name day. His wife helped with a charity, a war charity, called Le Vêtement du Blessé, the clothing of the wounded. So he inscribes his dedication, pour le vêtement de ma petite mienne, for my dear little wife. It's a very clever waltz written with these thirds throughout in different registers. But the first note I want you to listen to carefully. It will appear also in the middle and at the very end. And that I mean at the very end. That is the final sound. When I'm working with children, for sight reading, I say, you must look to see what key it is in to the last note, the last chord in the left hand. And here is the last chord in the left hand, the last note. We have one flat, so we're in F major. But what happens at the beginning? There's the major third A. It's going to rise, he's going to give us a B flat. But then what? A strange chord for F major. Immediately that sound captivates us and is followed by a third in the right hand again. Then it's heading into F major. Down it goes another third into the minor. Thirds. his thirds, he pushes them together and he's gone into D minor, the relative minor of F major, so it's close to link, but he won't stay there for a minute, he goes straight into the major sounding chord, which he does exactly the next month, it's fascinating, in his cello sonata, and he goes major minor just the same d major preceded by d minor here we go the shift the semitonal shift up onto an e flat And it's rather beautiful. It's not just a straight line. It is missing. There's no B flat. The key signature note is missed out. And maintains our interest by not just being exactly what we expect. That's a surprise. And off we go upwards in the line of thirds. There's that A again with one, three, five, seven, nine. Even more. One, three, five, seven, nine, thirteen. The touch of jazz there. And he picks up that A. Here it is again for the reprise of that opening. Back now into F. Now listen to what he does, a sort of alto flute range. He is obsessed by this little roundabout. Back we come for the final appearance, high A and an F to keep us comfortable. Ah, but listen to that. Pause before the final major, a different chord, 
A, and a normal cadence. What was all the fuss about? But listen, that A is just there. So let's hear it the whole way through. Thank you. 